Hey guys, welcome to YouTube channel Commerce Biology. Today I am going to talk about one of the great scientists, Louis Pasteur. But before that, please subscribe my YouTube channel so that uh, I can make more and more videos related with biology, microbiology, biochemistry, genetics, bioinformatics, gene technology, virology, bacteriology, parasitology, and many more. So, now let us move on the topic as chemistry. Actually, Louis Pasteur was a French chemist who was motivated in the field of microbiology when he identified that fermentation technology is related with activity of microbes. During his time period, a lot of development was made and he was and is the person who coined the term microbiology. Louis Pasteur with his famous goose neck experiment disproved spontaneous generation theory. At the time, people used to believe that living things comes from non-living things. But by performing Guzenek experiment, Louis Pasteur proved that microorganisms are present in air. Microorganisms are present in air. So, he proposed germ theory of disease, which was later proved by Robert Koch. Mr. Pasteur, a miracle man, developed vaccine of rabies. At the time, he, done, he didn't know the actual agent that was causing rabies, but he was able to protect a boy named Joseph Mister, okay, he was bitten by a mad dog, and when his mother brought that uh, boy with a little hope, and uh, she asked Mister Pastor if he can save his life, and uh, Pastor developed. The vaccine. He developed a process by which we can make attenuated vaccine when he was studying about cholera. Mr. Pasteur, Mr. Pasteur is a man, okay, who studied about pebrine disease. He developed a sterilization technique. Not only that much, Louis Pasteur also studied about anthrax. He introduced pasteurization technique and uh, developed Pasteur Institute and uh, Louis Pasteur also is engaged in the development of biochemistry. So, he is a great man. So, you can uh, look and get information from the slide that I have prepared. So, this much for today. I hope you will go through the slides and find more information 
you can see the flow chart that I have uh, depicted uh, in the slides by the help of which he disproved the spontaneous generation theory. And uh, you have to be careful in in the contribution given by uh, contribution done by Mr. Pastor and Robert Coates. They are very important for microbiology students. Most of the time in different levels, whether bachelor, masters. When you have to talk about golden period of microbiology, you have to mention the name of these two scientists, and you can also you should also know the various contributions. Patients may be asked in the exam why this pastor is known as father of microbiology. Why Robert Koch is known as father of medical microbiology, bacteriology. But father of microbiology is this person. So please uh, go through the slides. And uh, this was for today. And uh, hope uh, you will enjoy uh, these slides. I have given uh, very uh, limited information here. Uh, because uh, I used to make uh, longer videos and I think that the students uh, like to love shorter videos related with uh, different topics. <laughs>